Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the movie hangout and let's talk about how Cocaine Bear is beating Ant-Man at the box office. I can barely say it without laughing hysterically. I mean, it's just, who would have thought this would happen? A crazy movie like Cocaine Bear. I'm probably gonna get flagged because I even said the title of the movie, but that's the title of the movie. I don't, I'm not applying anything else. Who would have thought that would be beating a huge blockbuster film by Marvel and Disney. But I'm gonna jump into what is going on with this, how much it's beating Ant-Man by. Before I do, before I jump into it, if you're going over, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, comment and like this video. I want your opinion on how insanely hilarious this is. Okay, so Ant-Man is the third installment in the Ant-Man trilogy. I've never big, been a big Ant-Man fan. I mean, the first film was fine. I don't know. Uh, Paul Rugg is, is Paul. I said Rugg. Paul Rugg's swooping under the rug. Paul Rudd is kind of whatever to me. I mean, he's okay. He's good as like a supporting actor or character, but he's not really like a leading man. The first film I think worked, but after, other than that, I couldn't really care less about the character. Apparently, I'm not the only one. Tens of millions of people, hundreds of millions of people all over the world couldn't care less either, but they do care about a bear, a whacked out bear that is diving nose first into not snow, but a little yayo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So right now I'm on Cosmic Book News, Cocaine Bear, Malls, Ant-Man 3, Box Office. What I love about the fact this movie is about a bear is there's so many different puns you can you can come up with malls, Ant-Man. It's just fun, right? It's just fun. This is, movies are supposed to be fun. If we're not going to have fun going to the movie, we're at least going to have fun talking about these terrible movies. A big wake up call for Disney. I would say Marvel and Kevin Feige as quant quantum mania runs out of time and bombs. Cocaine bear manages to beat out Marvel. Uh, now who saw that con coming? Personally, I saw it coming. You know, you know what else I think is going to beat Marvel? I think Meth Gator coming out later this year is going to be beating it as well. And I'll be doing a full review on that, so stay tuned. Cocaine Bear brought in $8.65 million on Friday, while Quantumania only made $8.3 million. So Cocaine Bear made $350,000 more than Ant-Man. Now, some people may think, well, that's not a whole lot of money. It kind of is a lot of money because here's the thing. With Ant-Man, there's going to be, a, yeah, a lot of adults who just kind of go by themselves or whatever. Maybe a couple of like childless married couples are going to go see it. But Ant-Man is a type of movie where, you know, it's like you don't really just buy one ticket. It's like, you know, if you're a dad or mom or, you know, uh, parents, you're going to bring like your one, two, three, four kids along with you. So there's a lot more tickets that are sold in bundles. Whereas Cocaine Bear, I mean, you can't bring a kid to that movie. You can't, I don't even, I'll have to check the rating, but I'm pretty sure it's not PG-13. And if it is, I mean, it's like on the, on the line of becoming a rated R. So there's right there, you cut out all of the, uh, all the kid, the, all the kid audience, all the kid audience is gone. And then, I mean, most adults aren't going to want, they're not going to want to see a movie called Cocaine Bear. So it's kind of a niche of a niche of a movie. Whereas Ant-Man supposedly has like mass appeal. It, it really covers a lot of different demographics of viewers. So the fact that Cocaine Bear made $350,000 more on a big movie night, which is Friday, is a pretty big deal. Estimates offer Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania will drop by 70 to 72% in its second weekend. The worst for a Marvel movie. The reason why it's dropping that much is the first wave of people who were fooled by the shill, uh, Rotten Tomato, fake, paid off critics. And yes, I do believe that that's what's going on. Those people paid to see the movie. They sat there and they're like, what the heck? This is just... A terrible movie. It's boring. It's crap. And then they went online and they, you know, they made videos about it. They wrote on forums, word of mouth, and they told people this movie's terrible. Don't go see it. So people aren't going to go see it. 
Meanwhile, the R-rated cocaine, so it is R-rated, Cocaine Bear, directed by Elizabeth Banks and based on the true life story, is expected to outperform the estimates and is now estimated to bring in 21 million or more for its opening weekend. That is incredible. I mean, that is just rated our film. So right there, you cut out tens of millions of potential ticket buyers, kids. And then there's a lot of adults that have kids. They can't leave their kids at home. So that, so even if they want to go see the movie, they're not going to be able to go see it in theaters. They'll have to wait until it's streaming or Redbox or whatever. So that is that is pretty darn impressive. I mean... I don't even know what, I'm almost like, I have a lack of words. That's, that's incredible. Worth a mention is that Cocaine Bear is playing in a lot less theaters. So that means that there's a lot less empty seats. Or that There are lots of empty seats for Ant-Man. As I went over earlier, Quantum, Quantum Mania, who comes up with these tile, titles? Ridiculous. Was initially only expected to drop around 62% for its second week with 40 million, which isn't a bad number at all. But those estimates have since been revised and the flick is now bringing in around 30 to $32 million, maybe less. Uh, it says, it's reported that uh, the Sunday update for Cocaine Bear is that it brought in 23.09 million for its opening weekend. So originally, the estimates were 21 million. It actually did three over $3 million dollars or $2 million better than what they anticipated. That is incredible. So you have less people able to buy the tickets. You have fewer theaters that it's being screened in. And it's outperforming its own estimates. And it's outperforming a Disney movie. I mean, think about that. Disney. Anything Disney would, would put to theaters, it was immediately like huge. It was making tons of money. Anything Marvel would put out made tons of money even if it was mediocre. I think we're seeing a tide, a, a change in the in the current in, in our culture. And I, I'm so happy about this because Hollywood is not going to just cut out the, the woke crap and the, the dumb writing and characters. They don't have to struggle to, to, to like gain abilities and skills that they weren't born with. They're not going to change this stuff until we stop buying the tickets, until, until they lose the money and they can't make these movies anymore. Uh, and it says that um, that the Ant Man dropped sixty nine percent its opening weekend. This is a fate, this is a wake up call for Disney, Marvel, and Kevin Feige. And here's Kevin Feige looking over there. He's like, "Oh crap!" He's maybe off screen. He's looking at like a suitcase of money burning because the money is going down the drain as we as we speak. This is a definite wake up call for Disney. And it says that it introduces the MCU masses to the MCU next big villain. Jonathan Majors as Kang the Conqueror, where Kang has has even been described as a bigger threat than Thanos, of course. Well, not much of a threat so far at the box office, that is for sure. So let me know what you think. Are you going to go see... This makes me want to go see Cocaine Bear even more now, because it's like, not only am I going to be entertained and have a bunch of laughs and have a great time... I'm also kind of like sticking it to Disney, you know? It's like it's like a two for one. It's great, right? Let me know what you think. Are you gonna go see? Um, are you gonna go see see Cocaine Bear? Have you seen Ant Man three? If you have, let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you would give it out of a rating of zero to ten. If you want to get future rants, reviews, or some content? Click subscribe. Later.